you what's going on youtube today i want to talk to you about kayak tackle management and how i uh carry things on my kayak uh in a manner to stay compact and not carry too much um you know kayaks we, we have a lot of a lot of ways to you know making storage and a lot of these kayaks have a lot of storage compartments but you know it's still not like a bass boat where you can just you know, you got tons of options. For me personally, I found a way that's comfortable to carry, you know, enough things on the water that I need without carrying everything on the water, you know, that I own. So this is just my method and how I do things. And uh, according to, you know, with that, that works well with the kayak that I own, my Vibe Sea Ghost. And um, this just works well for me. You know, some people have more options. Some people have a lot more space in their kayak they have a lot more you know they have a, a different design in their kayak but this is what works for me so getting right into it i carry i carry three bags for my i carry bags in my soft plastic and i have them order, organized in three different categories worms crawls and uh, swim baits and swim baits are not exactly all just swim baits, but um, bait fish imitation style uh, baits. So that's just that's just how I how I run it. You know, I got you know Yamamoto Zacos. I got a uh, these Reaction Innovation little shiver shots. I got um, Kytex. Uh, these are big ones actually I got some 6.8s in here the new ones I got all, I got some you know these type of baits the paddle tails I got some different some yum paddle tails uh, what else I got in here I got these um, big bite bluegills some more paddle tails and that's bit pretty much my swim bait bag you know like I said imitation you know imitations of uh, bait fish you know that's how I organize those that's those so move on to the next bag all right next my cross um, I have a lot of different style of cross cross is you know beavers and cross so it's not you know anything that falls in that court category got these I just got these at a lucky tackle box that's my uh, strike King rage tails and his bag stinks. <laughs> rage tails. I like the rage tails. Rage tails. Rage tails. Got some reaction um, innovation beavers. Um, I also put grubs in here, so I got some grubs. I use these. Um, I'm, I'm trying these actually this year as uh, chatter. Not, yeah, chatterbait trailers. These are uh, twin tail grubs. Cross. Biwa. Some more twin tail grubs. Got some uh, sugar crawls. Uh, some more lucky tackle box stuff. Some um, nice crawls. I got some uh, crawls and beavers. This uh, this bag is actually mixed. It's got a couple of different things in here. This is a big bites bag, and I got some uh, Strike King crawls in there. Some more crawls and um. Yeah, so colors I like in my crawls. My my bait fish, I, I green pumpkin, natural colors, and and then like white. That's what I go for my like uh, bait fish. You know, like maybe sungill or something like that. Crawls, pretty much black and blue, green pumpkins, maybe a watermelon here and there, and um, that's pr and and that's pretty much that's pretty much all I need. I would need, you know. Like the different areas vary, but you know, black and blue and green pumpkin work good here, so that's what I pretty much stick with. So, um, yeah, moving on to the worms. All right, now worm style baits. Um, I don't fish too, I'm not gonna say I don't fish, but I don't have too many different variations. I, I this is pretty much my whole collection of worms. I don't, I'm not saying I don't use them, but um. I don't, I, I don't really just go overboard stocking up on worm style baits. These are new. I just got these. These are uh, the half shells from Strike King. K 
cat I categorize this as a worm you know it's it's like a grub almost so uh, it's not really a worm but if it, it goes in that bag uh, these are worms a little curly tail worm mr. twister the drop shot bait some more uh pretty much curly tail style worms zoom this is the sea tail worm and some drop shot bait some mollux drop shot baits I got these and colors uh, and some uh, Judge Jawjackers Ned Bates a little Ned Bates right there these are those grubs I talked about in my Lucky Tackle Box video these are single tail grubs I, I don't know how these actually got in there but um yeah that's a another style bait that's some more um, Ned Bates and I lost the packaging too where it ripped up I just put them in one bag these are the Z-Man TRDs. These are in this bag by, by themselves and not in my other Ned bait, my um, other bag, because the yeah, last tech from Z-Man does not play well with any other plastic. Any other no, any other type of plastic, do not mix your Z-Man plastics, your Z-Man elastics with them because they're different. They're a whole different type of um, material. And um, if, if they touch for too long, you just end up with a big ball of plastic goo. <laughs> it's not fun cleaning that up because it, it, it's something with the chemicals. They mesh together and they melt. They stick to everything. It's terrible. Got some uh, chartreuse pepper st stick baits, some worms, some more uh, Ned style baits. Well, these are not Ned, you know, exactly called Ned style baits, but they're like a real thick, almost Ned looking bait from BY. I'm going to try these out. I uh, got some zoom, some zoom Z drops, good for drop shotting. Trick worms, some uh, Cabela's with shaky head. Some more yum. I love yum. Yum stick baits are my favorite. Yeah, single style baits. Gary, Gary's are cool. They're a little more expensive. I just like yum. You, know, you get a lot from pack. You can find these at Walmart for like two bucks. You get like ten in a pack. So that's worms. Um, like I said, I don't fish worms a lot, but I do fish them. So that's pretty much all the worms I have here, there in my collection of like all my tackle. But um, you, you know, it, it gotta have them on board just in case. So all right, next, go into my um, my hard baits. I keep all my hard baits in my um, my uh, boxes in my crate. My crate goes behind my chair in my kayak. I carry six boxes. That's I probably I could fit more if I go to smaller boxes, but I don't want to fump. I don't like fumbling through too many boxes, so I just chose to go with this style plano box that I, um that works well for me. Um, I could fit four of these big ones in there, and two smaller ones. So there's my there's my boxes. Now I'm in here. I carry my boxes and like other um other accessories i'll get into that in a second let's get into these boxes this is my this is my top water this is a plano 3600 deep works well for me you know I, I this is the way i like it i know i can have a bunch of different boxes with a you know then, then it can get real detail categorizing but you know sometimes i maybe only have three frogs so i don't want to put a whole box just for frogs then a whole box for square bills and a whole box for deep divers. So I kind of just got these boxes and categorized, you know, in a way that works for me. Top water is this box right here. I'm going to go in, go in here real quick. So I got, I got some frogs over here. Hollow body base over here pretty much. So I got the frog, I got this new lunker hunt, um, new lunker hunt deal paddlefish whatever it's called these are like my green these are my darker color frogs and I got my whopper ploppers right here I got some walking baits right here in a little pompadour style bait and then I got um, buzz bait so I got this uh, grass burner this is some legs for uh, a leg hook for a frog and replace the legs but I got a buzz base down here I got two of these um, grass burners I got another regular buzz bait so that's my top water box. Uh, 
Next up is my jigs. Now, this might drive some people crazy because <laughs> I don't I don't have my jigs organized by size or um well, I'm not going to say size. I don't have my jigs organized by like a structure or flipping. I pretty much organize them by weight and color, kind of. But um, let's get into that. I'll show you what I'm saying. Like up here, I have, these are like the heavier ones of football jigs, football style jigs. I got different colors, so, you know, green pumpkins. Black and blues. I got this is a punching jig right here. I believe this is a dirty jig, punching jig, punching jig. But um, football jigs. I got a, a a few green pumpkin, one black and blue. Um, then over here, I have um, uh, these were I guess these were my you know flipping jigs, but green bump green pumpkin and black and blue. So I'm not gonna take all of them out because I have a, actually there's, there's actually a lot of jigs in here. But uh, these are dirty jigs right here. Another dirty jig. So this is um pretty much black and blue and green pumpkin. It see there's a another type. This is a terminator. Got the little rattles on it. So I'm not too organized with it. But um yeah. And I got odd colors down here. I don't really use this black and blue actually could go go up here. But um, these are little otter colors, like uh, oranges and stuff. I really don't use too much, but you never know. And over here, I got um, I got some uh, swim bait jigs and underspins. So I got some naked. I don't know, naked is the word. I got some uh, regular swim bait jigs like that. Then I got some uh, some underspins in here. A couple other experiments, a couple other, you know, swim bait jigs. Then down here, bladed jigs, chatter baits, got white, you know, a little shad color. White. I got more green pumpkin than anything. I, I carry a ton of green pumpkin ones. So I probably got like six, a couple, about three white ones, a couple black and blues. This is like a bluegill. Green pumpkins. This is just all chatter base. I, I I usually throw uh three eighths. Well, no, I usually throw half ounce ch chatter baits. The original chatter baits. I like these a lot. I not, I like the other ones too, but the original ones work well for me. Just as good as the all the expensive ones. The black and blue. So that's my chatter baits. So that's my jig box. You no, know, like I said, I know this box in particular would be one of the ones that irritates people because they want to know, you know, the particular side, well, weight and all of that. The, you know, structure, flipping, pitching. <laughs> I My my jigs are, are like, I have some that are 3.8 and I have some that are half ounce. But, uh, you know, <laughs> that's just how I do it. Works for me. I pull them out the box and I kind of know. <laughs> Um, now we have, uh, this is lipless and swim bait. I know these are two different, you know, styles, you know, on, on, on the spectrum. They're like uh, way away from each other, but it just worked out this way when I was doing my box, my boxes. So, um, lipless baits, I'm not going to pull these out. Well, I can, I guess I can, I, um, These are the bigger ones, bigger like a um, three quarter ounce, close to an ounce size lipless crankbaits, Booyahs, and Damikis. And over here I got some um, six cents lures. I might have a red eye shad in here. I got some Damikis. I got some uh, what are these Storm lipless crankbaits. When I'm on the water, I can use two hands to pull these out. It's not gonna take that long. You know, I know you see all these hooks together, but it doesn't take long to get them out if I need them. You know what I mean? It's not that bad. You know, people, I don't like all my hooks together. I buy hook guards. You know, 20 seconds, I I get them out. Then, like, what else I got in here? I got some, um, some jointed swim baits, a line throughs, 
join this one base down here. Um, and I got these big, big jointed uh, black dog shell crackers. I got a couple of these. These are um, these are like a swim bait, glide bait. He's got a little bill on it so you can bump it off stuff. This is like a, I classify it as a swim bait though. Then I got a um, swim base down here, River to Sea. That's River. And yeah, that's that box. It may not seem, it may not seem completely, you know, it may not make a lot of complete sense, but it works for me. <laughs> and that's what this is all about. Next we have crankbaits. Crankbaits, another irritating, probably gonna irritate a lot of people. Um, I'm not gonna pull these out, but I have. These are, um, these are like three to, these are square bills. They're like maybe over three feet diving. These are deep divers over here. I got a uh, Rapalas, I got uh, Spros. I got some wiggle warts in there. These are like, you know, these are the bigger square bills. You know, the bigger body, bigger wobble and all that. These are small, like uh, flat size square bills. These are all Spro. And then these are like three feet or less. I got some the uh, KVD Strike Kings, the 1.5 that only dive three feet. Uh, KVD Strike Kings. I got a little Bomber Square A, Lucky Craft. I got the new Rap Love Boss Up brand. I've got one of these. Check these out. See what these do. Uh, so that's my crankbait box. Next up, we have my jerk bait slash bladed bait box. I put jerk baits on here, but whatever. Got some. Uh, I don't, I don't throw jerk baits a lot, but I do have a few. I got some Yozuri's. I got um, a Rappler, a uh, Shad Rap. I got some Rick Coons, Lucky Craft, a few jerk baits. This is a, a Matsuo Deep Diver jerk bait. Um, I don't throw much. I might throw, I might buy some more, but um, I'm not too, too deep into it. You know, the jerk baits just yet. I haven't had too much success on it, so. I mean, that's why I haven't really invested a lot into it, but you know that's my jerk base and my spinner base are in here too. I like War Eagles. I got some War Eagle spinner baits, double gold. I got I got a, a, just a variety of different ones. I got the double gold uh, for those muddy, low light conditions. Another gold one looks like a bluegill imitation with the gold and silver with gold and nickel. Got a chartreuse and white. And I got all silver. It's got a little white and white. I mean white and black and then double silver blades. I got another one, another chartreuse and for the gold blade. And then it's a little blade that I got from I got from somebody. Just threw that in there. So that's my jerk bait spinner box. Now, if these haven't drove you crazy yet, wait till you see my turn, my next box. If these haven't drove, driven you crazy yet, wait till you see my next box. It's going to blow your mind how irritating this might be for you. Yeah. Now, on to the most, probably most frustrating box for some of you people. It's probably going to be the most frustrating box for some of you people. My terminal tackle box. All right. Do not... <laughs> Do not punch your screen when you see this. This might irritate the crap out of you. But here it is. Terminal tackle. All right. So over here, I got some snaps over here. I got some of these wobblehead um, EWG hooks. That's pretty much it. <laughs> then I got some uh, swim bait hooks and some um, some trailer hooks. Trailer hooks for chatter baits and spinner baits, swim bait hooks, those go together. I don't know how this got in here. I must have just threw this in here, didn't realize it was in there. But I got some Ned, some Ned heads in here. 
I got some uh, shaky heads in here. What else I got in here? I might have... Yeah, nail heads and shaky heads in here. Then I got some um, over here. I got some drop shot weights. The cylinder style, these I believe are an eighth, maybe, or a sixteenth. I, I think they're an eighth. They're an eighth. I got, yeah, they're an eighth, and my sixteenth are upstairs. I got an eighth style, and then I have some uh, three eighth styles for deeper water when I get, want to get lower quick. And I got some one aught EWG hooks for a weedless presentation on a drop shot. Um, over here, got some hooks for Texas rigging, some um, trocar hooks, and some bullet weights. Um, and then over here, I got some more, I don't know why I got these over here, but I got some more trailer hooks and some um, trailer hooks and different style drop shot hooks. I got these, uh, you know, the regular little drop shot hooks. Then I got some spin shots over here. And these are um, these are willow blades that you can add to like uh, you can add to to soft plastics. They got a little hitchhiker on them. And you just screw them into a soft plastic. I was gonna um, use these for like a uh, chatter base and spinner bait trailers. The, the throw them on there and you got another blade whole another presentation so this may be my most frustrating box but <laughs> but uh like i said it, it's, it's all about being compact for me so i can get all of this in here and then just pull it out when i need it without having two or three boxes of just terminal tackle and my crate, everything else I carry in my crate, I got a, I got a scale. I don't use this too much. It still works though. Yep, got my scale. A waterproof case on my phone. Got some uh, some attractant. Got some attractant dye. And spike it, garlic, uh, chartreuse. It, it paints the soft plastic chartreuse and puts a real strong garlic smell on it. I don't know why this is in here. This must have been in here from when I was crappie fishing. Stringer, got some line cutters and um, split split ring in case I gotta replace a split ring, um, a treble hook on the fly, and some braid cutters on here too. These get some good braid cutters. I thought you know the scissors were the deal. But braid, dedicated braid cutters work a thousand times better. I didn't know until I actually tried them myself. Get you a pair of good braid cutters. Get some more uh, snips. Cut line. The best pliers on the market, in my opinion. These wrap a little with the uh, bent nose. Got that spring load in there so it, it pops back open. And that hook, that curve right there in the nip, in the, um, in the, in the point of the nose works wonders for me getting hooks out i like it better than the straight uh, pliers these i bought about three or four pairs of these things losing them i just love them um any other pair i buy i don't i don't i don't like them like i like these so i keep buying these and i got a pair of fish fish grips now all this stuff this all little random stuff usually goes into my center console of my kayak so it's not in my crate i don't have to reach back for it. this is you know the stuff that goes in my center console Except for that stringer, I don't know why that's in there, but um, that's that's my tackle that I carry. That's everything I carry on my kayak that's not already attached to my kayak, including like leashes, mounts, you know, various things that stay on the kayak or you know, fish finder, battery, not none of that stuff. But this is the stuff my tackle and my accessories that I carry with me. And then I might have like some wipes and towels and snacks or everything, or, or snacks or something like that. And I'm I'm pretty comfortable with how I have everything. Like, I don't feel like I have too much and I don't feel like I can't access my stuff. You know, um, I don't feel like I can't access what I want, 
you know, in a, in a, um, a good, efficient way. So this is how I run it. And um, stay tuned because I'm getting ready to show the winner of that uh, giveaway I had on my Instagram, my 500 uh, follower giveaway. So hold on one second. All right. So getting ready to do the random Instagram comment selector for the giveaway. And here we go. And there it is, Big D. You are the winner. Uh, I'll get in contact you, with you on Instagram. We can uh, set up getting you this little giveaway. So congratulations. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and um, you know, share if, if this helped you out and you feel like it helped somebody else out. Share the video. Go to my Instagram, just one more cast, J U S T, the number one, M O R E C A S T. Follow. Thanks for watching.